and welcome to another episode of A Cup of Coffee and Fusis Format. This is not sponsored, I just love this guy and Fusis Format. This is Christian from Plattebutikken Tigo, Fusis Format and Digo Distribution. Yeah, yeah, and from Haugesen, like you. Yes, from the <laughs> big city of Haugesen. Yes, and the best thing is, uh, fun fact, he played in a band called Mary Who which I grew up idolizing, mm -hmm. so the band meant a lot to me, so thank <laughs> you for the inspiration <laughs> that you can yeah. be weird in Haugesen. Yeah. Mm. Weird in Haugesen. Yeah. So, today he's gonna uh, say his top three uh, early releases of Fusis yeah. Format. Yeah. We planned all of this in Norwegian, so now I'm doing it in English, so mm -hmm. always a little bit tricky. So he's gonna show his top three early releases from uh, Fusis Format. And then in the end, he's gonna tell you about some coming releases. Oh yeah, that was the sound of me being excited. <laughs> but first, we did a live stream today on Instagram. Every Friday at one o'clock UTC plus one, I do a live stream on my Instagram channel. Link is in the description as always. And I made this original drawing that you viewers said I was gonna make. So it's Splinter, it's a uh, Ken Langello, it's like a turtles but with Ken. Kerry King Ken, flames, fucking bubble fish and bats, everything. Original drawing people. Whoa. And you can win this by going to kaffevansin.com and buying Kaffevansin Volume 17. And in these 10 issues, this will be hidden. So if you order all 10, you will get this. But if you order one, you have the chances one out of ten to get it. But I'm gonna give him the decision. Not the decision, but the, he's gonna decide the fate of this. I'm just gonna give you a, one of these and you can just insert it in there. Mm -hmm. So now you see it, he's putting it in. It's inside this one. You're not I'll almost show you the number here, but it's inside this. And now I have ten of these. Why it's very important to do the stock in here. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, I put it in this bag so that these 10 issues are the ones that contain one with the original drawing in it. So, when you order this on cafefantine.com, I will take the top, put it in your order, send it away, and maybe you're lucky. And if you are, tag me and post it. Okay. Oh, yeah. Transition. Yeah. Coffee chair again. Coffee chair. <laughs> Squat. Squat. Okay, Christian, tell me yeah. about these early releases. Yes, thank you, Martin. Thank you for uh, supporting us and uh, thank you for having me on. It's great to come back to my hometown. Little uh, windy, rainy, grey city on the Norwegian <laughs> West Coast. And uh, all I do when I get back here is go looking at people and wondering what they're up to and how life is uh, here and how people survive. Yeah. I can't really imagine the, <laughs> how people, ordinary people in the street are surviving. But when I see you, I see inspiration and I see uh, a fight to, uh, um, to make a, a living uh, and, and expressing yourself and your creativity. Thank you. And that's uh, always inspiring. Uh, so I love coming to Haugesund much because of you. Yes. Uh, Thank you. It means a lot to me. And uh, and it's always uh, nice to to, uh, to drop by your office. And I'm, so I'm honored to be here. And I'm honored to uh, be able to show some of um, the, my favorite releases of the Physis Format uh, back catalog. Physis Format has been a record label since 2008. I think. Holy shit. Uh, so it's more than uh, 10 years now and uh, it's been uh, well over 100 releases. Um, so I'm gonna start with the first one. Uh, first release that I where I felt that we were really doing a, a record label. Uh, this band is called uh, Host. That's one of my favorites Autumn as well. Autumn or Fall in Norwegian. Uh, it's uh, everything uh, about that band is like dirty and sludgy uh, metal 
with with a strong punk feel to it. Um, one of the, tra uh, the titles are White Trash Extravaganza, and uh, I guess I guess that uh, summarizes <laughs> more or less the the band. So this was their first release, and I think it still uh, holds up really good uh, today, and it really defined the label from the start as uh, someone somebody you can trust that uh, delivers uh, uh, uncompromising, uh, ugly sounds, which we all love. Um, this was a special edition vinyl that we did, uh, and it was screen printed at our Is office. this a special edition? Yeah. Yes! Uh, numbered. Oh, cool! Hell yeah! <laughs> yeah, and, uh, and so we, we screen printed it in a very rudimentary, basic way. We just bought these uh, cartoon, cartoon paper things and uh, laid it out uh, in, in our uh, record store office and uh, made the this, this screens ourselves and uh, tried to not wobble it too much when we were uh, printing it. And uh, well, so, yeah. so more than one of these have uh, some uh, uh, beauty dots. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but that's the cool thing with screen printing and printing in general. Yeah. Like classy things. Uh, so. While this one is an early release in our catalog, I'm gonna show uh, the next one. I'm gonna show is uh, a newer release. Well, actually, it's from 2016, so the years they roll by faster than I can keep track of. But uh, here's uh, the op opposite side of the spectrum. This is a uh, uh, printed by a professional, Thomas Deva, yeah. um, and he has a. Book binding uh, uh, service well. or a business that he runs. Um, I've been admiring him for ages and just been waiting for the opportunity to uh, be doing something with him. So he made this uh, uh, amazing, uh, uh, even numbered covers. Yeah, hundred and twenty nine of hundred and fifty. Yeah, I can take some out and show. We have this. Signed by Tallman himself. Mm. And what is this? It also comes with CD. Mm -hmm. And then it has the vinyl, of course. And a very small. <laughs> oh shit. Very small. Come on then. See, <sighs> Chettle, we give you a lot of profit. <laughs> a very small toaster. Nice and handy. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. Okay, I'm just gonna so, put it on the side here. Yeah, we didn't do that for convenience. I'm oh. sorry. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but yes, this is uh, Orabot, their uh, magnum opus, if you ask me. The Gospel, really a uh, transition album in uh, their career, and uh, it was. Uh, recorded at the time when uh, Chetel was uh, suffering from uh, cancer, really serious uh, stuff. And uh, so I, I think this album is a testament to the fight between life and death which is within the body and uh, in, in the world. And it's also a documentary that you can check out of yeah. this uh, insane uh, travel that he went through. I think it's a both the highlight of the band musically and uh, conceptually the whole package around it mm -hmm. the whole story everything happening with the band and uh, Chetil the main character from the band's uh, fight yeah so I think it's great and another added bonus to this that has to be mentioned in my little library of books you I recommended this from Tigo because you also have books at Tigo yeah it happens yeah oh and I flipped the entire screen. There you go. <laughs> Jolly Lad, which has an extra chapter in it now with uh, Chetl in it, with some illustrations as well. So the, he doesn't only push records, he pushes books as well, and fanzines and comics and everything. And then uh, the final record that I've um, brought Ooh, yeah. uh, up here is uh, Okultokrati's Snake Rains. And. I brought it uh, up because uh, I love the situation when a band knows that they have done a masterwork, a piece of uh, a masterpiece, and uh, when they they just 
uh, objectively know that this is gonna be a, a cornerstone in the future of music. And uh, so, so uh, the experience of uh, dealing with this band when they have had written the songs, been in the studio and seen uh, their masterpiece uh, coming to form, that's been one of the best uh, uh, things with working with this uh, record label. And uh, yeah, this is uh, um, the first album when when they stepped out of their first years of D-beat uh, black metal kind of thing yeah, and yeah. Uh, made a more, more epic uh, sound of their own, found, finding their own voice. So, special album. Very special. It's a, a milestone album, as we say it here at Café Contour. Mm -hmm. Yes. So, so that was the uh catalog releases mm -hmm. the these three can you still get these um probably a few left yeah. of uh, this one and that one yeah that one is uh probably ebay item or uh, mm -hmm. uh or record uh, fairs and auctions uh around the world yeah but you can check it out at uh, fuses format dot no dot no which is mm. in the link below here so you can just click below yeah and uh, these are from my private collection so i'm very happy to have them i'm very proud of having these special editions there mm. but now dear viewers of the world interested in music and the obscure you're gonna tell us about up and coming releases yeah from pieces for months yep and i don't even know what it is so i'm pretty excited yeah, um, I'm going to talk about some of the upcoming releases and uh, the first I'm uh, going to uh, pull out of the hat is uh, <laughs> uh, Next Life. Uh, it's, um, is that the name of the band? Next Life? Yeah. yeah. Next Life, they have uh, made, uh, they've been around since uh, late 90s. It's the first band that made uh, metal with uh, uh, chip tunes uh, chip tunes yeah the that's the synthesizers that are inside of the early uh, gaming uh, computers like oh. amiga and stuff like that yeah um so they've been working with uh, uh arcade uh, sounds mixing that with uh, uh, metal and uh, and punk oh. uh, in a very distilled and ultra focused uh, way um, it's mostly uh, uh, instrumental they have uh, had a couple of uh, songs in the past that has been with vocals but uh, the new album is uh, purely uh, instrumental electronic metal but and with that kind of gaming sound yeah game gaming synthesizers and uh, processed guitars and um, uh, and some electronic uh, drums but also uh, uh, acoustic drums by the drummer in uh, Nidinger, uh, oh, yeah. Anders Hango. Yeah. They have a, a, a taster out now that you can check out. It's called the Guru Meditation. It's the album uh, uh, title track. And um, for everybody who has, a, has mm, had an Amiga 500, then they know Keep that talking. there's a, there's a, there was uh, a, 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 it's called the Blue Screen of Death or something like for the, for the Amiga. Yeah, the thing is, they did this awesome machine. I was groundbreaking in uh, on many levels, uh, particularly when it comes to sound and uh, and uh, and graphics. It was way ahead of everything else. But uh, for some reason, the machine kept going into a trance, and uh, none of the engineers and super oh. uh, uh, professors uh, working with the technical part of this knew why the computer just sometimes went into a uh, 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 I didn't uh, even know uh, that but uh, it makes uh, sense uh, uh. and then you just had to restart <laughs> and, they, and they were like okay we don't know how to fix this so we have to put it on the market with the bug still uh, on really and so what are we going to call it and then there was a creative brain that just said okay let's it sounds like a meditation so let, let's just <laughs> say it's guru meditation you have to restart <laughs> wow so i think yeah, it's a um 
uh, it summarizes in a good way what Next Life is about too, because it's a band that uh, has a spiritual dim dimension to the way they are working with uh, the technical uh, uh, innovations of our, our times and, and uh, our generation. And so Guru Meditation is uh, both the novelty of the Amiga 500 and uh, shows the uh, spiritual side to it. Holy shit, I can't wait to hear this. <laughs> Um, already excited about it. Yeah, I wish I could have the records and uh, show them, but uh, they haven't arrived from the from the printing uh, press. So the artwork yet. is done and everything. Yeah, is it on the website? It's on the website, so you can check it out. There. You can go in the link below here to see it. Um, the next band I'm gonna mention is uh, Dofet. It's a <laughs> Norwegian uh, quartet. Dofet is still born in Norwegian. Yeah, Dofet. Uh, dead born. Yeah. yeah. Um, the, it's a it's a quartet and it's their um, debut uh, release. Oh. It's the first uh, thing they're doing, and their uh, new generation of kids are uh, a lot younger than uh, me and uh, and the, the bands that I've been mentioning, like Ora Bot and Host and Okultokati, who who are more or less my uh, my age. So these are uh, the next generation. It's the kids uh, doing uh, their uh, thing. Uh, Doing things differently that uh, than uh, than the first generation of his format uh, bands did, but uh, I think it really fits with their catalog because they have a really strong visual uh, uh, part, and uh, they 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 are not afraid to be uh, 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 very uh, straightforward with the political part, uh, oh, and they're okay. not afraid to uh, turn people off. And I think that's uh, that's a good thing to that's have. That's a big yeah, yeah, yeah. turn on for me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> people dare to, you know, uh, this is not for you. Yeah, but <laughs> which I love. I love that. <laughs> yeah, and then finally, I think I should uh, mention uh, him. Uh, H Y M N. Yeah. Yeah. That's mm. right. Mm. It, yeah. That's a two uh, two piece band. Uh, two guys, basically the drummer and the bass player in uh, Savor and Tombstones. Oh. Uh, for people who know their uh, sludgy doom metal, they might have checked out their um, previous uh, bands. And uh, they also did one album before this one that uh, was on um, a Finnish label called Svart, which is a oh, big, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. big uh, inspiration for us. One, really one of uh, today's best new uh, metal uh, or general music labels genius name by the way yeah. Smart. Mm -hmm. so uh, yeah we're really, really happy to pick up uh, him and uh, carry uh, the torch forward with the band from Svart uh, and that's uh, really nerdy meditative uh, gargantuan metal it's it's big it's uh, like mono-minded in a way it's it's not it's not for the, for people who need uh, lots of attention fast it's really slow moving uh, lots of details but you have to dig into it to huh. to hear it but is it like like heavy and slow or it's everything and uh, nothing at the same time this is what I like about this label they have so many weird bands yeah and when you think you kind of know how the label works like okay they have this kind of sound then so suddenly a release comes out and it's like oh this can't be Fuses Format mm. oh it is so that's what I always liked about Fuses Format yeah you you can still get your safe picks but at the same time you can dive into the another dimension and find something weird yeah so you've done a great job there though yeah, thank you. It's all about just having the door open, you know. We've been running a record store for for ages, and uh, uh, there's all kinds of people dropping by. We can't close the door. Uh, it's part of our commitment that that it's open. Everybody yeah. can come in and ask stupid questions and uh, and uh, and hang out and uh, listen to records and uh, and stuff. So, and uh, and I guess that reflects in the kind of music we release that we get a lot of input and there's a lot of bands that are sending us our stuff and that means that we're probably more than a lot of other labels we're, we're, uh, we have 
a really big fucking radar. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That, <laughs> yeah. that is that is on uh, with with the uh, with the record store. It's like I have a dream with my own record and solo project, Svart Kaffee, which of course, by accident, is standing right here. This is actually printed at Digo, the dis distribution. Yeah. And also they make CDs and everything, and I have with the picture inside. You can go to Kaffee Fancina to order this and see more. Yeah. And I only have four left. I'm very proud. 250. Four left is sold out. Yes. So you can go now and order it. It's the last ones that are left of the limited edition in pink vinyl. Because Fisus Format is very good at doing uh, fun limited editions. So my dream in the future is to have uh, Svart Kaffee released on cassette and or vinyl at Fisus Format. Hmm. So I'm not. I'm going to keep going at that until I die. <laughs> so make sure I'm going to send in. Mm -hmm. And... To have Ken the Chilling, my comic, released mm -hmm. at No Compreno Press. Yeah. That's the two big fishes that I'm Ahab hunting. Mm -hmm. Yeah, No Comprendo is a big inspiration for us. It's uh, an independent uh, company that really just uh, does things by heart and uh, has a strong diversity in every, the, uh, what they do. Yeah. And uh, really feels like uh, people that are not compromising on the art. Uh, or the way of their the way they're talking about their stuff so um, maybe yeah. that's why I love them and pieces from what so much we're soulmates yeah and <laughs> fun fact this cap you forgot this on a previous vlog I'll try and find which episode it was okay. but you forgot this cap and it's been used as you can see very well like it has vintage look now mm -hmm. so I almost didn't dare putting this on today in case he said oh there's my hat I want it back oh really is it mine Oh, yes, that's the one you forgot here. And now it's yours. Yes, okay, good. good. <laughs> uh, but uh, when people see how beautiful I look with yeah. this merch on, yeah. is the merch available? No. No? No. <gasps> so, no Feces for Mott merch is available at all? Mm, Maybe some in the shop? There might be some newer editions available. Yeah. Uh, I'm not sure, but uh, both of these are sold out now. So, it's all gone. Sorry. Vintage. Yeah, so you gotta go to fisiesformat.no to keep your eyes open for new mm. releases. Also back catalog, and uh, if you're lucky, maybe you will find some new cool stuff that comes out. Yeah. But not as lucky as me, though, that have this. Hook up. Yeah. So, just to quickly go through, this is the back catalog releases we went through. The Gospel by Orobot, Rider Relapse by Host, and Snake Rain. Snake Rains. Yeah. I always say that wrong. By Okultokati. And go to physicsformat.no to see more. And of course, go to kaffefansin.com and order volume 17 featuring Chetl Talman from Orabot. And if you're lucky, in one of these 10, there's an original drawing from today's live stream on Instagram. So go to my Instagram to see the live stream, making of the drawing, and more info. Blah, 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 blah. And. Thank you for joining this YouTube video. Thank you for having me and thank you for watching. Give me a cheer before we go. Oh, we can cheer as close as to the camera. Remember to subscribe, like, and share. Uh...